Hello, 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 and welcome to Moonstone Island. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I'm so excited to be checking out this brand new game. Now, this game is all about exploring islands and testing our strength in a card-based game, brewing potions, collecting spirits, and making friends with some NPCs. And I think you can even romance them, which might be fun to try out. Now, it's time to jump right in to a brand new game. All right, we've woken up on our very first island. And it looks like our dad is here. Wakey, wakey, sleepy bones. And some flax flowers and a stone fruit or two. So to start, our dad teaches us the very basics about picking up items we find and gathering crops are planted, digging holes, harvesting seeds, planting the seeds, and then watering the seeds. Basic farm sim stuff to start. Now, something that's a bit different about this game compared to other farming sims is there are spirits in this game. And they're like little buddies that are going to help us on our way. And we get to choose our very first one. Now, they all have different stats and different cards associated with them. So we've got Sheep. And Sheep is some sort of like fiery sheep. And it has firepower, which means it's weak to water and psychic damage. It has armor, speed, vitality, and power. And some different abilities and cards that are associated with it that would do different things. So we've got that one as an option. We've got this dinosaur named Ankylo, and he is an earth type, and he's susceptible to ice and water damage. He's got his own abilities. He's got his own attacks. And then we've got a very angry looking bee named Capacity. <laughs> and Capacity is extra funny in my opinion, and we're definitely gonna be choosing it because it's a great pun, because he is electric, which means he is susceptible to dark and ice damage, but he is a bee, and who doesn't love a good bee? Well, okay, maybe nobody loves an angry bee. That's a bit horrifying, isn't it? Let's pick Capacity, because what a great name. All right, and then I think we just have to leave. All right, Capacity, great choice. So it's a bit like a Pokemon, I guess. They're gonna look after us. We had three to choose from. Uh-oh, look over there, a wild spirit. Perfect timing, get over there and show me what your spirit can do. Oh dear, okay. Looks like this gemlin has higher speed than your spirit, so he gets to make the first move. It's thrown a rock at us. All right, so we're gonna bash it down. We're trying to reduce its armor to zero. So armor is up here. He's got a one armor now because I've bashed him, but we've got a two, and we also have a health bar we have to watch out for. Now, I have absolutely no idea what that blue heart represents. So we've got three energy per turn, and we can see on the cards how many energy it's gonna take. And I have no idea what that purple one is for, but I'm sure we'll learn about that later. Let's shock it. And then we are out of energy, so we need to end our turn. But at least we get three turns, it only gets one, so it's kind of an unfair fight, but it is stronger than us. Right, and that lily pad that we picked up earlier, we can use to feed our little bee. And just like that, we <laughs> defeat it using our cards. And we've grown up to level two, and we found some loot, a flax flower and six coins. Excellent. Oh, look at our parents' house, it's so cute. She's gonna make us a cup of tea. And then we're gonna have to go and she wants us to eat a stone fruit. So our medallion can hold three spirits and the three that were originally in there, one we've kept and the other two we've given to our parents. And we can also build a barn to hold more spirits. They don't have to stay in our medallion. Probably just the ones we carry around with us stay in our medallion. I'm not 100% sure how that works. She's given us a Nimbus plant. Now, can we see what that does? Boost the power of a spirit so we could feed that to our spirit. Right, we're entering our medallion through some sort of crazy portal. Feed him and we can level him up. So let's level up. We need to choose a stat to upgrade and we get one point to upgrade. Now, their armor is currently only two, speed three, vitality three, and power four. And I know if they lose all their armor, they get stunned, dazed, confused. So let's, I think, upgrade the armor. Choose a card to add to the deck. Oh, okay, we have to add another card to our deck. So free energy, transform all the cards in your hand into volts for the rest of the combat. Or deal to electric damage three times, or reduce the target's armor by one, so we can have another bash. I think let's go with free energy, that sounds cool. I'm not sure what volts do, but we'll figure it out. And then we can get quick count here, and we can feed him, and we're gonna feed him that. And we've completed the quest of taking care of our capacity. And then we just exit the medallion. Right, we're going on an adventure, we're ready to go. And our new journal entry, spend a year away from home. Oh, it's like a gap year. Now, personally, as a Canadian, I never had a gap year. So I'm pretty excited that uh, in-game Evie gets to have one. Oh, and we get another gift. Made you these tools, they're not much, but they'll get you started there. Now give your dad a hug. Oh, ooh, okay, so we got a hammer, an ax, a broom, and an alchemist tent. And mom's given us some seeds to make sure we plant them. Ready for our big adventure, we got stone fruit and flax. Right, the wind's picking up. The weather's getting bad, so you better leave home now. That's a good idea. Charge that broom up, then release its energy to catch the wind. What, we fly on the broom? <laughs> what? Amazing, we get to fly on a broomstick. 
Right, we found a town off in the distance. Hopefully they need an alchemist, because we really need to get off this broom. We're getting splinters. Uh-oh. I don't think we're super keen on how to land our broom. We don't know. Oh no, we've broken our broom. And we've dropped everything. Oh man. Oh yeah, full disclosure, I did purchase the Moonstone Island DLC, which should just give us extra things for being able to decorate and make things really pretty. So we have got a few things that we're going to be able to craft, which is very interesting. And I guess we're searching for anything we can. We can harvest some cattails. That's fun. I used to love those as a kid. And there we need one of those to heal the lily pads. Now, it's a bit of a shame that it's so dark. <laughs> Can't get anything there. What's over here? Oh, there's a bit of stone fruit. That's good. We could take that. It's a light over here. Oh, we found a moonstone. I don't no idea what that is. Let's uh, open our inventory and take a look. A mystical stone that emits magical energy glows at night. So definitely want to find anything that is glowing. I wonder if we also lost our tent because it seems like it would be better to do all this exploring in the morning rather than in the dark. Oh, here's like a little town. Oh. Oh dear. Yep, we seem to have fallen asleep. <laughs> Try to get to bed before 2 a.m. I don't know where my bed is. All right, there we go. Monday of spring one, we cleared zero dungeons. We discovered two spirits. We tamed none and we banished none and we sold no items. So that was a good start to the first day. And we fell asleep randomly outside. Oh, uh, we found a house or Asano has found us. I saw you drop out of the sky last night and I found you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you here. I was worried you weren't be able to wake up, but you did. I guess with that get up, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting or a new stunt performer. Anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. <laughs> I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? I mean, you can sleep here if you want. I'll have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, I think these are your tools. I'll just leave them here for you. Oh, good. They found some stuff for us. I found them scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you should get your tent set up. All right, so we are crashing in someone's room. I guess we'll go downstairs then. Oh, we're like in a inn. My name is Asano, and she runs the tavern. Oh, and she's the one who collects anything that we want to sell. Oh, there's people. There's other people. Hmm. Weird outfit. You must be the new alchemist. Guyana. Work in the conservatory. All right. She doesn't seem keen to talk to us. So let's just... I mean, she's very... She says she has to go, but then she's just sitting there. Ah, our bee's there. And something left us mail. Right. Mom has left us a letter. She had a horrible dream that you broke your room. <laughs> I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. This isn't our mailbox, so is it? Where do we... She said to go to north part of the town to set up our tent. We would need to clear space for it. Now we have what tools do we have we do have our axe can chop down trees We've picked up some wood that seems good there's lots of things around to pick up oh are those some seeds over there oh good hopefully those are the seeds we dropped now do we have a stamina bar would be a good question to know the answer to so this game is a fairly classic menu up here so we've got our inventory our crafting page the map we'll see what we explored our journal with our quests the spirit research. So these are any spirits that we found. So it's currently just the one. Our relationships. And then, then of course, the settings for the game. So now we just set up our... This seems like a good spot. It's like at the end. Oh, good. And my axe can actually cut down the bigger trees. I was wondering about that. Because often in games, your axe cannot cut down the bigger trees. I wonder if this means we don't need to upgrade our tools. Okay, I have absolutely no idea how large our tent is. Oh, we pick up fibers from getting the grasses. That's good. Ah, okay. So it looks like we smash rocks with a hammer, which I was not expecting. I was definitely expecting a pickaxe. We got some coal and some stone. What about this bigger one? More stone. All right, let's try placing our tent down. Oh, it's not that big. Okay. There. Once you place your home, you can't pick it up again until you craft another one. Are you sure you want to place it here? No, I'm not, but we're going to do it anyways. All right, settling in. All right. Uh, we've got a chest here. Nothing in it. And a bed good enough now there's a few things that we probably need to craft so we're going to need to get that going crafting table we're gonna need this cell crate so that's how we're gonna be able to make any money so we need just five more wood so let's just chop down another tree or two and we probably need to clear space to get these plants in the ground so let's just clear all the space on this side and we can plant our garden beside our tent uh oh we're tired <laughs> Do we even have a stamina bar? Am I missing something? Don't know. We're getting pretty tired though. Oh, it's getting late. It's 6.30. We've not done anything today. All right. Let's... Can we get these in the ground? How many seeds do we have? We've got six seeds. So plant a bit of flax. Plant a bit of stone fruit. Bee, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> and then we just need to water them. And then I guess we can go to bed. Although we just have to be in bed by... What is it? 2 a.m.? So late. It's way past my bedtime. All right. Let's go into town. Oh, we actually, we didn't craft that box yet. Right, we did that one. Where are we going to put this? Maybe over on this side or down here. 
Oh, why do I have to make decisions about things? I wonder if we should actually sell things or if we should just keep them. I have a feeling we're gonna like want to have these things. Let's go into town. Oh my goodness, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find our way back home, but no, it should be good. We're it's kind of a path to follow. We just need to clear out these rocks a bit. What's over this way? Well, there's a sign. Does, there does the sign say anything? No, it's just an arrow that points. Eight o'clock. Is it too late to go into someone's house? This looks like a museum. Nobody's nobody's here, but there's some stuff. It looks very interesting. Okay, this is clearly some sort of workshop. And it looks like you can go into these places. Ooh, a striped rug for 100 coins. A stove. Is that 100? It was 100. So for 1,000 coins. A counter for 200. So it looks like we're going to be able to come in here and buy different decoration items for our house. Maybe even request some. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a person. Hello. It's Cleo. Those clothes! You're an alchemist! I'm so glad you've arrived at last. Perhaps a little behind schedule, but no matter, you're here now. I'm Cleo, and I'm Moonstone's resident historian and scholar. Any questions you have, come to me first. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, okay. Chat, 70% chance of a success. A joke, 50% chance. And flirt, 10% chance. Oh, okay. Play the odds. Oh, she didn't even like talking to us? Okay, just never mind then. It's not ideal. <laughs> okay. Well, good. And we've got probably maybe like a general store or something. And then you're not good enough friends to enter their bedroom. All right. Okay, so it's not a proper house then, is it? It's just a bedroom. All right, this is definitely like some sort of general store. We should probably come back during the day. That would probably make a lot more sense. All right, we've done some exploring. Let's on the way home smash a few stones because we definitely need the stones. we we'll just go back this way. There was a few in the way of the path. Oh, well, there you go. Go! Oh! Uh, uh oh, we're getting pretty exhausted. Oh, look, we found like a mine. That's a really, oh, okay. There's got to be a stamina bar. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on that. Where is the stamina bar? <laughs> our second day, we did nothing. Oh no, now we overslept probably because we were so tired yesterday. Where is our, st ah, down there. Okay, I found the stamina bar. We can definitely keep an eye on that now. Oh, and a bee is dropping us a letter. Hello, Asano here. Welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter that automatically goes to everyone who moves here, like you. Step one of getting settled in, get to know your new neighbors. Okay, meet the locals. Okay, we're gonna have to meet everybody, but we need to water our plants, keep an eye on our stamina today, and it'd be really cool to explore some mines. Now, to get down into them, it'd probably just be a luck thing to like find them by killing those big rocks. That's all we could do there for now, so let's go into town. Is that hole that we found yesterday still there? Oh, it is. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> is very much like right in the middle of the path. All right, this is the tavern we were in already. Seems like a good place to meet people. Here's Quill. You're the new mechanic. I mean, no, what was it? Alchemist. Oh, right, we can chat. Oh, he liked it. That's good. The chat went well. Let's let's leave now. Say goodbye. Here's a windmill. There's an arrow pointing this way. Oh, wait, there's some reeds. We need to pick those up. And probably that lily pad as well. Can I get to it? Yes. Uh oh, this looks like something we're gonna have to collect. It said, Professor Zed of the Science Center. You should drop by when you've seen a few spirits. I'd love to talk research with you. And before I forget, one more thing. It just so happens that I was recently awarded a grant to study the spirits that inhabit the outer islands. It's pretty dangerous work. And let's just say I'm more of a labs kind of scientist. You need to bring me a spirit that's at least level five. Okay, we need to tame some spirits. It's Farah. We have found a big mine and it's in the worst possible spot. Need some copper ore and then she'll teach me how to make ingot. <laughs> Sounds fun. Okay, she has a shop as well. Okay, so we can upgrade our tools. All right, I was wondering about that. So we can do reinforced and then greater and then moonstone. So it goes green, then yellow and then blue. And we'll need a lot of coins and we'll also need to bring the copper ingots. Once again, people, just do the crafting for you that you don't actually get any of the resources. Hold to activate. Choose a talisman. Let's upgrade a card from their deck. So we've now, we now have that talisman. So I wonder if we just find those things and activate them and then we get some sort of bonus to upgrade or change. Nobody's home in any of these houses. How am I supposed to meet my new neighbors? Nobody's inside their house. Right, little town square, but it's not even in the middle of town. Hmm. It's not open on a Wednesday. Interesting. What a strange day to be closed. Oh, you're here though. Ah, yes, yes, you're the alchemist. It's Paolo. And they sell random crafting recipes. Coffee table, that's a tip so you can get. Oh, we can upgrade our house here. Make a big spirit barn, a huge spirit barn. All right, so he's gonna be doing all of our woodworking needs and house upgrades for us. That's very kind of him. Ooh, look, we're in like a deserty area. Oh, a moonstone. Oh, this is a nice little garden. Ah. So relaxing, so peaceful. Oh, oh, I'm swimming. 
Oh! Oh, we can swim in here and it's going to improve our stamina. That's nice. What is this? What is this? Ah, it's lighting up. It's turning on. Hello? Oh! Oh dear, we fell off the island. Oh, minus 10. That's, that's not good. Let's leave. So I spent a bit of time searching around all the islands, picking up any items that seemed useful, talking to any neighbors that seemed useful, and just trying to get my bearings. Now, whether I really did that or not, I'm not sure. And there certainly seemed to be a lot to see, but that's a pretty picture. Now, a lot of the houses, nobody was home, and it made people very difficult to meet. But then when they were home, you tried to talk to them, Mostly you just annoyed them. Sometimes they're a success, but, but not all the time. And it's getting late and we've done absolutely nothing today. Now can we even find our way home? We've done basically nothing with our stamina either. Should really be clearing out some sections or going down into the mines or getting more stone. Lots of options, none of them which we have done. Now we do have a lot of stamina, so let's go down into the mine. Let's grab our hammer. Ooh, iron ore. And some copper ore. Alright, let's sell our very first thing. So, I think we needed to sell 20 rocks. So let's put 20 of those in there. Yes, stones for Sano is now done. So, we've completed at least another mission. And let's head to bed. We turned into our PJs. Alright. 20 stones sells for a hundred. That's good. We've actually managed to make a bit of money today. That's very nice. All right. And it's a new day. It's Thursday. So hopefully a few more of the stores are open today. It looks like we're not going to have to water our crops because we have our very, very first day of rain. Now our store should be open because it was closed on Wednesdays, but surely it's not closed Wednesdays and Thursdays. So let's head into town and see if we can shop. We have a bit of money now, 156 coins. Where was the general shop? Who is this? Oh, it's Quidlican. Oh dear, okay. More bad luck talking to villagers, that's okay. Let's carry on and see what we can find. There's another, oh, that's uh, Osano. Oh, yes. We collected some, oh, and she's given us even more. So we collected some stone for her because she asked us for some stone for her basement. We collected stone, we sold the stone last night and now she's given us even more money. And it looks like she wants us to check out a dungeon. It's northeast of town near the hot spring. That's where we saw that weird monster, I think. None of us have been able to go inside for a while because it's full of wild spirits. That seems like your thing. It probably is our thing. And there's treasure. Treasure to be found sounds very good. So we want to definitely go and explore that dungeon. Uh, but before we explore the dungeon, I want to explore the shop. There it is. And it's actually open today. And Rowan works here. By the way, if you're looking for plants, try the greenhouse. I only sell seeds. I doubt I could keep the plants long enough. Oh, okay. So we can shop here for fertilizer and different seeds, lily pad seeds, cattail seeds, flax seeds. Now, I feel like lily pad seeds, we would have to grow not in the dirt. Right, I don't think we want any of those right now. We can find those things for free around. Let's just talk. Oh, it worked, good. All right, say goodbye then. Oh, there was someone else we could have talked to. Hold on, come back. We need to make sure we speak to all the villagers. It's Ophelia. She's the botanist. Okay. Let's talk to her. Okay. No, oh, good. Right, just say goodbye then. So she's the botanist. So she probably works in that other building we saw that was very pretty, but was closed because it was nighttime. Now, we do need to maybe go to that dungeon northwest of town. Maybe let's just try to fight our first spirit. Now, how do we get there though? I mean, that's probably where the botanist lives. Or there's nowhere to go that way. All right, let's just venture on and see if we can find something northeast of town. A dungeon of sorts. So we live in the north, but then we just need to go east. But I think there might be a path this way. Okay, is that? No, that's the thing we went in. Maybe, yeah, is it? Right, this is definitely northeast of town. And there was that big spirit guy in here. Oh, he's gone now. Oh, but we still can't get across there. But that spirit thing is gone. How do I... Oh, can I go around? No, that just leaves. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. I can't jump. Maybe I need a balloon or a bridge. 
sense. I'm just falling off the edge. That's not working. Oh, oh dear. Didn't mean to do that. Come back in. Right. It does sit, there's a four here. This does seem like the right spot. But we don't currently have a way of getting across. Maybe it's mythical fish, furnace for a friend, and copper ore. Near the hot spring. This has got to be it. Activate the ando tree inside. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if because we came here before we got that quest, if we've now ruined it. I don't know. Let's leave and go back in. Or... I feel like that has to be it. It's a big red thing on our map. And O tree. We don't have any way of getting them back. Uh, maybe... Maybe we need to sleep on it and come back. I actually have no idea, but that's definitely the dungeon. I guess let's get the copper for the blacksmith. I wonder if we can open up more mines. Maybe let's use our stamina to, or do you think we'll be able to find more? No, let's go back into that first one and clear it out a bit. So we just need to get two more pieces of copper, I think. Okay, that should be enough copper for the blacksmith to complete that quest, but let's just get a few more just for ourselves because we're definitely going to need them at some point. All right, let's leave the cave. And let's go just stick those 10 copper pieces into our cell box. There. Not only should that make us a bit of money, but also we should be able to complete that quest. Now, I just want to kind of clear a bit of a path to get into town a bit easier. So let's chop down some more trees along the way. Oh, okay. We're very tired. Perhaps it's time to go to bed then. And 10 copper ore is worth 100 as well. So they're worth 10 each. That's quite good. All right, so we are on Friday, our final day of the week, but I think we'll end the video there. Now, I think this game has so much potential. It's very, very cute. It's very cozy and wholesome. It gives me like a mix of like Stardew Valley and like Pokemon vibes. And I really am looking forward to being able to collect some more spirits rather than just our bee, but you know, seeing what else is out there. And I can't wait to try some more. And if you agree and you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comment section, but also by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of Moonstone Island. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.